So to begin with, then, uh, as uh, the way that you have studied some thing from this syllabus, is there some specific thing that you want to discuss from new literatures in English, Australian and New Zealand literature? Anything that you want to discuss? Talk about? So, uh, so I have uh, studied new literatures in English in my MA four semester. Very so good. But the code was in Italian. There was on. But uh, and there was only one writer from Australian literature. Oh, the, that there right? are similarities between African literature uh, in UPHSC and my syllabus. But the hmm. syllabus of oh. Australian new literature, New Zealand literature is different. So which writer was in your syllabus? Prescribed writer? So uh, uh, only one Australian writer. Okay. And Vaibhav sir is here also. Hello Vaibhav sir. Welcome. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? This is your first time here, right? So uh, yeah. let me introduce yes, you to Vaid, sir. Wait, sir. This is Vaibhav, sir. This is first time. So Vaibhav, sir, yes, to, sir, to tell you about the thing, uh, I had shared uh, course material with Ved and his friends, the people who have been studying with me uh, earlier, from, from earlier. And uh, yes, they... And for this first session, that is today's session, first weekly session, uh, I had declared that today we will cover Australian and New Zealand literature. And that's why we are meeting. So yes. it's presumed that they have gone through the course material. And it's not a, a lecture on course material, but it's a discussion on course material. And then I will try to cover the whole material in the form of questions. And I'll presume that because you have done some study, so you'll be able to answer. But in your case is special, sir, because uh, you have just reached us and uh, of course you don't have the material. So today I will uh, not ask you pointed questions, but whenever you feel like you have an answer or whenever you feel like you should ask some question, you are very much welcome because you are a part of the process, right? So I will ask generally, I mean, to the whole group, anyone can uh, answer me the question, okay? So the first, and the easiest question is about the names of, that is the full names of these writers. Okay, because you totally know that UPHAC has asked question about the pseudonyms of writers. Now, as they've asked about pseudonyms of writers and about years of birth and death of writers. So I presume that there is a strain of asking this kind of question. And therefore, as I keep on reminding you, uh, I have always asked you to make a complete detailed chart of writers and the years of their birth and death. And I'm reminding you even today, I hope uh, Ved, that at least uh, you have started preparing that chart thing. Sir, actually I have, I have not started, but. So you have two, two days holidays, right? Tomorrow and the day after. And no, sir. I don't no? have any holiday. One, only one holiday on fifth. Oh, 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 IIT is killing sir, you, man. Hello, sir. Sir, yes, sir. The so, recording will be available, na? Yes, yes, recording. Um, that's why I, I asked your permission to record it. And I told you that please okay, don't, don't turn on the video option if you don't want to be seen for privacy reasons. So, yeah, mm -hmm. recording is going on. Fine. So, uh, wait, sir. Um... IIT is driving you, driving you like anything. Only one. Even I have two days holiday. So it's, it's worse than a job. Okay, then. But at least you have one day. So uh, I will demand you to please work on that chart. Okay. Because it cannot be done overnight. It has to be done day after day after day. Right. So please do work on a chart. And it's actually a chart. So buy a chart paper, a white chart paper. And, you know, be creative. Use as many sketch pens as you want to use on them. And finally, at the end, the chart paper will be filled with plain and simple boring data that you will learn by heart then, okay? Uh, I'll share my, my chart with you. No problem with that. But then, uh, because of uh, my bad handwriting, and I only prepared it for myself, not for uh, everybody. 
so uh, it will not be much beneficial for you you'll have to make your own chat okay so i will ask you the full name of patrick white if you can do that what is the full name of patrick white sir patrick victor martindale white wonderful wonderful and do you also remember the year of his birth and the year of his death sir the year of his birth is 1912 and the birth year of his death is 19 very good if you keep on um, you know this track and pay attention to even the smallest details i see no reason why you will not be able to crack the code of upscc good job andy good job his nobel was awarded in which year sir 1973 and he is a special australian for this for this thing what is the special fact about his nobel Sir, he is the only Australian to win a Nobel Prize. Absolutely. Now, is this only Ved session, or others will also answer some questions? Ved, I prohibit you from answering the next question. Deepthi Ma'am will answer it, or Vaibhav Sir, or Simran is here. Okay, I did not see Simran. Hello, Simran. How are you? Sir, I'm good. I just well, wanted... Ved has been answering all the questions, so I stopped him. Now, you two guys uh, try to answer, and Vaibhav Sir, if you wish, you try to answer. he has given the preliminary warm up answers so again these are very hackneyed questions but they must be asked was was published in which year that's a very important question the does this novel is in our syllabus right the next question will be more difficult but this is easy was was published in and if you don't give the answer i'll have to go to wait Come on, man! Give answer, someone. Nineteen. So nineteen fifty-seven. Wonderful, nineteen fifty-seven. And if you want a mnemonic code, then remember that it is it was published ten years after we won independence. Okay, so independence plus ten. If you want to remember, you can remember the tryst with destiny speech and ten, or you you may remember the tricolor flying and and ten. You know, in any which way you want. in the tricolor thing is is easy you know because in the tricolor you have got the central ashok chakra so you may uh, relate it with zero and the the vertical bar you may relate it with one so you've got 10 okay so 1947 plus 10 1957 do remember it those who don't and now we'll talk about his other novels so the solid mandala and i'll ask not ask you the year 1966 the twibon affair 79 the hanging garden 2012 that was unfinished why i have given you the names because uh, upscc also sometimes asks you to chronologically arrange the novels of x y or z and they may also ask you the name of his autobiography so uh, may someone please tell us the name of uh, the autobiography of patrick white hmm pay attention to some such small details okay of course you will prepare notes on was but before we reach was there is this desert to be crossed right so flaws in the glass flaws in the glass and now we have reached was 1957 it is the fifth novel of patrick white and the novel is based on the true account of who Who's true account is it? It's a basic contextual question and an important one also. So Ludwig Leichhardt. Right, and nationality of that person? Sir, he was he was from Germany. Right, from German. To be exact, from Prussia. So then, in which year exactly? Uh, I know this is going to be too deep, but still, uh, I think that. Uh, at least this deep i should ask and i am paying too much attention to was uh, there is a reason behind that because as uh, ved in the beginning we talked about uh, patrick white happens to be the only australian to win the nobel so we are paying a little bit more inordinate you may say attention to him and was is a very 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 important novel so of course a little bit more attention than is warranted because we have other text to cover too so then um in which year exactly did uh, the original that is uh, like hart himself did he die in australia during exploration what was the year 
you may choose not to answer that's an out of way question but then if you do answer then it means that you have done some background preparation so like her died in the australian 1840s. desert 1840s absolutely which part of 40s okay live like hot i'll ask you another question a hint question okay and this you must get fine the hint question uh vaibhav sir you may also try this one the hint question this was the year i'll ask you two hint question this was the year in which marx was exiled karl marx was exiled in this year this was also the year the second hint of revolutions in europe across europe and we are talking about 1840 so what is the year in itself it's a very very important year historically speaking for history of english literature questions also this is a very important year just like 1919 uh, sorry 1819 is a very important year 1848 is also a very important year oh sorry i gave you the answer okay 1848 it is 1848 okay 1848 1848 right i hope someone remembers now uh, why and what of 1848 i gave you two hints both of them are important and they are both questions fine so then uh, we know that like hart died in 1848 and he was a german prussian explorer what is or what are the main themes of this novel the main the central theme or themes uh, because the question will complicate it so what is or are the central themes of uh, this novel spirituality is that a guess or an answer so an answer because there was something related to godliness there in okay fine but this is a very safe guess you know <laughs> you can go to generally you can go to any deep novelist and ascribe spirituality to their novels yes but then give us a more pointed answer i'm not saying you're wrong but i'm asking for a more pointed answer more focused upon was we have already spoken about it was is the story of an explorer and what does an explorer do explore so the theme is of exploration of various kinds the spiritual part also will come in uh, a soul searching exploration journey into the heart of australia but then into the heart of their own selves also but journey is important the exploration part is important okay uh, why i'm emphasizing on this keyword because uphsc tends to emphasize upon keywords right and at any any given point when you don't agree with my analysis uh, because i i keep talking about uphsc as if uh, they are my brother or something <laughs> it's not true so if you disagree with my analysis do correct it okay uh, because you all have experience of the thing some of you at least and you know about it so correct me if i'm wrong in a way you are helping me right so when i analyze it and i go off the track do correct me so you uh, tell me at present till now have you found my analysis okay those who have you know exposure to or experience of the uphsc thing webhav sir what do you say are you listening sir webhav sir mm -hmm. okay deepthi ma'am what do you say it seems nobody is listening to me okay then simran are you listening yes sir Good. so but i haven't opened yeah yeah that's why i didn't ask you this question uh, because i know you and ved you have no exposure to the uphsc thing but then deepthi ma'am and webhav sir totally not listening to me okay because i told them that the recording is going on so maybe they believed me should i stop it no kidding so <laughs> i'm trying to be uh, as close to the uphsc mind collective mind if you want as possible 
but then you can always help me so simran and ved i, I request you to uh, study the syllabus of 10th unit very properly and also to uh, ved you asked for the old question papers and i uploaded them so do you have them now sir i tried to access the blog but, but i was not able to access the question papers strange okay i'll do it again i'll i'll send you i'll check first and i'll send you the exact link to the question paper okay i'm not sharing it because if i share only with you then it will not be available to everyone so i made that block so that everyone can can easily access it and download it if they want so uh, i'll check tonight and then send you the exact link to the question papers okay i'll, I'll either whatsapp you or mail fine so and simran do you have papers okay, sir, uh, question you. papers for no, so i have no. just for the previous year so could you share this in the group uh, the question papers definitely yes, i'll sir. do that That's so uh, ved and simran i'll share it in the group itself okay Uh, and not only question papers whatever you want you know whatever material is there uh, in and you want it and you don't have it you just tell me and i'll keep sharing and as i have told you uh, whatever course material you want whatever topic you want to be covered in more detail again you tell me because i am sending you the material already but then there are some topics that you may want to be you know to be going into detail so just mention that send me a mail or send me a message and give me a, you know a couple of days because i've been working on so many things and then i will upload it on my channel on my youtube channel okay so now uh, shall i ask you another question are, are you so okay I with this so i have pattern? one question do ask do ask so there are certain questions that are asked from quotations from the novels so yeah. so how to deal yes, with those right, questions right right now see as far as the pattern is concerned because you know novels are so many right and pages in each one of them are so many how can you expect any scholar and i'm i'm repeating any scholar you know to be able to recognize quotation from these n number of novels and also uh, plays because they ask quotations from plays also so it's not possible you know to prepare quotations from all the novels or all the plays possible you know in the syllabus do you agree with me upon this thing yes sir so like, even the plays that i have read word to word exactly, i was exactly exactly and those. when they give quotation we may guess but we cannot 100% say that okay man i do remember act 5 scene 1 this is it i mean every play is not hamlet right so sorry yeah i'm i'm comparing undue lee with shakespeare and with hamlet that too so every play play is not hamlet and uh, every novel is not pride and prejudice if you want though we can remember some of our favorite novels and some of our favorite plays still we don't remember everything in our favorite novels and plays also so um, hoping to think that anybody will or can learn everything uh, that is hoping to think that that person has a, a photographic or eidetic memory which us normal people general people do not have so we only have strategy and strategy is like this that and i am sharing you uh, say sharing with you this strategy based on my own experience so one for example as far as american literature is concerned upsc tends to love the scarlet letter as far as quotations are concerned novels quotations quotations are concerned so you may have seen quotation from scarlet letter in 50 also and in previous papers also there is a chance of they are asking quotation a very famous quotation from moby dick possibility is there yes there is possibility so when we are talking about you know core or central novels in the canon of uh, not uh, american literature but in the overall canon of department of literature probably if we look at the relative importance of the novel in the canon of literature and in the department of literature we may be able to you know uh, with some certainty decide upon the novels with which we will prepare only the important quotations only the important because no one can remember the whole novel and once that we are going to leave because no one can remember quotations from every novel, right so when it comes to that i totally think that sally jane's uh, my place is not the thing from which they will go for quotation they will ask team based questions they will ask 
background questions but they will not go for quotations when they go for quotation from australian literature the only there are only two prose texts but then the only text that there is a possibility of their asking a quotation from is was itself okay that is my analysis so when you have to choose between was and uh, my place and even uh, ray lawler's uh, 17 doll 17 doll i totally recommend that 17 doll may have one or two quotations but then it's a play so it's not in the same category so let's leave it uh, between the two prose long prose pieces sally morgan and patrick white i will say that you just get few important quotations from was and in whole australian literature you only prepare these quotations from was so do you do you see the economy of my suggestion it's practically not possible you see to to cover every prose piece uh, quotation after quotation so a you will have to select among the prose pieces and b you'll have to select among the quotation from the selected prose pieces so this is the technique this is the strategy practically speaking i did that i would do that again if if i had filled the form but then if you are, you want to go for you know an over kind of kill you are welcome to do it it will never you know uh, harm you so if you wish to go for quotations from every single piece you are welcome and i think you are reducing the chances of their surprising you but it's a bit inhuman to demand the people for that so i'm not demanding I'm saying that we cleverly choose, intelligently choose texts and then quotations from the texts. I hope uh, I have made clear the strategy, Simran. Uh, so what are the sources from which you choose the quotations? Um, do you read the text or from other websites? See, the texts that are available, and many of them I have read, you have read, we have read, the texts that are available and we have read. Of course, uh, it's easy to find quotation form, but, but we are talking about was, right? So as far as I know, was, the text is not freely available on the internet. Have you guys tried and seen the text anywhere? Was? No, sir. And the same is the story for that long silence. It is very silent. The best you can hope is go to the Kindle edition of that long silence in uh, Amazon.in and and check the first few pages that is the only free available that long silence can. is now available on certain uh, like pdfdrive.com pdf drive what which which text you say so that long silence okay because i was i checked it last month and it was not there but yeah it wasn't available but recently i found it okay so before they remove it people go there and download it I know what I'm saying is um, very unethical. Is it not unethical? PDFdrive.com. So, no, sir, it's not. Right. It's not, I mean, it's not ethical or unethical. So, it's not unethical. Okay, then. So, as Simran gave us, uh, Deepti ma'am gave us, who gave us this important information? Was it Deepti ma'am or Simran? Yes, I'm not. I think Simran. Okay, Simran, oh, yes. good job, good job. Thank you, thank you. And that's thank how you. we help one another. So that long silence, do get it. I totally suspect that that long silence is a very important novel, and they will ask quotation from inside there. I repeat, theme, character, yes, they will always ask from Deshpande and that long silence. And I will emphasize that when we reach in the next literature. But I'm telling you because the book may not appear there after a couple of days that quotations from this novels are uh, this that long silence is also important so please check it okay that long silence and if possible was but then was is not available and because was is not readily available and because uh, australian literature is not such a centrally canonical kind of course prescribed in every syllabus so i believe that from uh, from this novel more summary like and contextual questions will be asked so if you could get it wonderful do prepare uh, quotations if you cannot get it even you can then prepare quotations by googling it so you know important quotations from was and goodreads will give you google books will give you so you will get many important quotations say uh, you choose and pick and choose and don't go beyond 10 
and you don't have to learn them by heart. You only need to have recognition memory of the quotation and you must be able to relate uh, that quotation with was. That's all. That's all that is required of you. Okay. So you Google search the quotations um, and if you get them, please share them with us also. Okay. So that's about uh, was the, the contextual analysis. Uh, we have given a uh, little bit too much time to analysis and strategy in this specific class. So what do you say? Should I go into was or uh, should I go to the next text? Whatever you say, I'll do that. I mean, I can go into was and ask some more questions. I think we should do it. What do you say? You know, exhaust the questions from was. Yes, sir, please. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, was sets out to cross uh, the Australian continent. In which year? He dies in 1848, yes, but that is the second question. The first question is, in which year does he begin the journey? Eighteen forty-five. Eighteen forty-five. Okay. Now a trivial question: What is the full name of Laura? Laura Trevelyan. Absolutely. And in which settlement do they meet? Sir, uh, uh, Laura's uncle's house. Yeah, I mean settlement means oh. in which district, if you want to call it. The name of the place, the, the, the city, district, whatever. And then in Australia, it was they were called settlements. The so name New of the South Wales? Absolutely, New South Wales. There's a background to, to the story, but we are not going there. That is a bit too deep. Um, we will simply stay with, stick with the novel itself. Okay. Uh, by any chance, do you also remember the uncle's name? Mr. Bonner. Bonner. Yeah, what is the first name of that guy? I don't I don't know the first name of Mr. Bonner. Is it given over there? It must be in the novel, right? Laura's uncle, Mr. Bonner's full sir, name. Sir, I have written somewhere, sir, Edmund Bonner, but I'm not sure over it. Yeah, because I have all, I mean, there are two pages on Was with me. And wherever I see his name, it is always Mr. Bonner, as if the guy had no first name. That's very strange. I'm even underlining it and asking myself the question. I never asked that to me. The first name of Mr. Bonner. I hope UPHC guys don't know this question. Otherwise, they'll ask it and we'll be stumped. But you will guess Edmund, right? And we'll not be sure whether the name is right or not. So let's be sure about this. Every one of you search for it. I will search for it. One more trivial question. The ship in which Mr. Bonner decides that uh, for uh, was that was will... Uh, embark on that journey. What's the name of that ship? Uh, ha -ha. The name of this ship and the name of the ship in which Ishmael journeys and the name of the ship that later saves him. These three ships are very important. <laughs> we'll talk about the other two ships in uh, American literature. But from the name of the ship, I remember that the name of these three ships are important. This one is called Osprey. O-S-P-R-E-Y, Osprey, okay? Uh, please do note it down. The Osprey thing is important. It's a very minor detail, but if they ask it, no one can guess it because guessing is not possible. You either know the factual answer or you don't know the factual answer, right? So then I'll ask a thematic question to you. Um, and because I'm not giving multiple choice, so I'll simply give you uh, fill in the blanks kind of thing, fine? So uh, Patrick White in this uh, uh, novel was goes for a dash of the real pattern of events, giving it a symbolic explanation. I repeat, in this novel, White goes for a dash of the real pattern of events, giving it a symbolic explanation. And this is a theoretical term. The term that you will give in here comes from one of the theories, post 80s theory. So it's a, a you know a kind of applying post 80s theory in the hindsight upon pre 80s novel. So what is the process that uh, White applies on was upon the real pattern of events? 
and then gives them a symbolic explanation what does he do is it stream of consciousness mm, i'm not asking about the the uh, technique i'm asking about the process the theory is it deconstruction process. okay the kind of answer should be this and it's a very wonderful guess but then had it been uh, pinchen that would have been a wonderful answer but this answer is different but then very close really very close you try another uh, theory and you nearly i mean you have a chance of hitting it <laughs> and guessing intelligent guessing is a part of getting the answers right so i'll give it to you i'll not not waste more time historicization historicizes he historicizes the real events and then converts them into this novel and also gives them symbolic explanation uh, simran was right about you know giving the the inner twist to the whole story because the story the explanation is explanation is both outer and inner right now uh, we are talking about because they have asked one such question names so what is the name of the child that laura adopts in sydney the name question was Marcy. sorrow if you remember there was a question on name so i think that this is also a name question did ved answer something yes sir i said mercy mercy is the right answer yes ved others how about you guys did you know this one mercy yes sir this is mercy sir right so do answer i mean don't give him a chance to answer all the questions <laughs> but then yeah in the written exam he yes, cannot sir. right you will get your own paper but compete compete man the more you compete the better the whole group becomes right so yeah do compete there are many periods in the history of uh, australia this particular novel is set in which of those periods or let me give you a fill in the blanks kind of question was is set in the dash period in history of australia or australian colonial settlement it's a very important period so it's an important question i'll give you the answer of course but if somebody can give me the answer then they have prepared real good notes the post convict period i repeat the post convict period you may remember from um, ah why should i give you the answer i will ask you the question so in which british novel do we find a character who went to australia and became rich there great expectations absolutely great and what was the name of the settlement where he had gone and why did he go there did he choose to go there or there's there's a specific reason for him going there there is a key word convict remember he was apprehended and and you know sentenced he was a convict and he was then sent to australia because the scum of the society were sent there so that was the period in which the convicts were sent to the prison the big prison that australia was this novel is set in the post convict period so uh, i hope you will now remember the post convict period thing and uh, then there is a character in this uh, novel that parallels uh, the kind of uh, contrariness with boss that you can see in christ and judas what's the name of that character so his name is jude g j e w and do you think it's an accident that his name is jude because by that we get that boss judas was has some kind of parallel with symbolic parallel with christ himself so my next question is how is that symbolic uh, nature of was christ parallelism developed in this novel yeah i think this is a difficult question 40 days christ remember i'm giving you a hint i'll not give you the answer hint hint wilderness desert they go there both of them in search of something so that's where the 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 journey the exploration remember the theme of exploration so they were both explorers in many ways and they were both betrayed by someone whose name is uh, very tell tale way the same 
okay and in the end then the whole story the whole tussle and how the parties broke into two and whatever happened after that is recounted by a person a character laura meets someone the only remaining member of the party what's his name it's very ironical so Ju- that, yeah it's very ironical that the only remaining member of the party is mr jed i mean what kind of comment on the present world it is i mean sorry the then contemporary world it is uh, i don't know no poetic justice right so there it is then uh, we have covered was i think i will not say completely but i think more or less yeah we have covered it so i now recommend that you go search for uh, the text if possible if not possible at least 10 quotations from this text because uh, my guess is that if they are going to ask quotations from one australian prose text then it is going to be this text they will ask quest quotations from and questions from the poems so your attention please is very important um and time is important you know island uh, new zealand because he is the only writer of new zealand that we have in our syllabus and house and land is very 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 important try to learn quotations from these poems try to learn quotation from all poems because they will of course ask thematic questions they will ask you silly details but then they do ask quotations from poems that's a trend that they follow the trend will continue from british poems to any other kind of poem because we have seen it happening in indian english poetry 